Special thanks to Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scared to here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the McDonnell Douglas F-15C Eagle. The F-15C is an American twin-engine all-weather tactical fighter aircraft designed by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing, to gain and maintain air supremacy in all aspects of aerial combat. Following reviews of proposals, the United States Air Force selected McDonnell Douglas's design in 1967 to meet the service's uh, need for a dedicated air superiority fighter. The Eagle first flew in July 1972 and entered service in 1976. It's a, it is among the most successful modern fighters with over 100 victories and no losses in aerial combat, with the majority of kills by the Israeli Air Force. The Eagle has been uh, exported to Israel, Japan, and Saudi Arabia. The F-15 was originally envisioned as a pure air support superiority aircraft. Its design uh, included a secondary ground attack capability that was largely unused. The aircraft design proved flexible enough that an all-weather strike uh, derivative, the F-15E Strike Eagle, is an improved and enhanced version with, which uh, was later developed and entered service in 1989 and has been exported to several nations. As of 2017, the aircraft is being produced in different variants with production set to end in 20. 22. Uh, so the F-15C is, is a absolute beautiful uh, jet. I love the uh, F-15, especially after building it. Um, it definitely kind of uh, enhanced that love I have for this uh, this jet. Uh, it's just beautiful and uh, looks absolutely amazing and I'm really happy with the way it came out. Uh, this uh, version here is the F-15C, so this is kind of the, I guess, the most uh, recent or the the most upgraded version of the air superiority version. Um, there's the F-15E, which obviously is the strike fighter, uh, which is designated for ground attacks. This one is meant for aerial combat. Um, as you'll see with this one, we have tons of uh, missiles attached to it. Um, forgive me, but I am not familiar with what kind of missiles they are, but they uh, do have missiles um, attached to several hard points, and um, I do love the hard point designs on this aircraft as well. Uh, this uh, aircraft is obviously still in service, and um, it's uh, overall just an awesome um, looking jet. Uh, so I want to go ahead and give a special thanks to pa my Patreon supporter Brick Bros 2016 for making this tutorial possible. If you are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description uh, where you guys can go and donate a small amount every month and help me out with the channel. Uh, it's uh, pretty awesome and we have a really good um, you know little group of patreon supporters and they have cool benefits and stuff and I really do appreciate it, it helps me out a lot um, especially with uh, YouTube ad revenue not not a uh, not always consistent <laughs> to say the very least anyways uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the aircraft of course we'll be building both the in-flight version and the landed version so let's take a look at exactly what we're gonna be building in this tutorial just so you know what we're gonna be uh, doing so starting off with we have the in-flight model here so uh, pretty standard um, with it uh, obviously the front nose here the uh, canopy um, right there I believe it is a one-seater only so one person uh, then on the bottom here we have three drop tanks on both sides giving it um, a very long extended range with those um, fuel tanks we have a variety of missiles, four on each side, giving it a total of eight um, air-to-air missiles. Uh, the intakes right here um, on both sides here, love the way they uh, came out, pretty nice. And uh, looking up at it from up above, you got just the sloping, the detail, the shaping, the flow of the aircraft, wings, um, you know, nothing too fancy back here. And then coming back to the tail, um, again, you know, nothing too uh, fancy, we got the two vertical uh, stable or yes, yeah, pretty much they're stabilizers, so it's vertical stabilizers with the rudders on them. Um, but the little red stripe you see here, this uh, looks like it was on aircraft, maybe it goes to what base they are at or what squadron. Um, I just went ahead and did red because red's my favorite color. Obviously, you can switch it up and do what you want. Um, they would also have numbers or letters of the squadrons printed on the side here. Um, so that's another little addition you can do is using banners, put some uh, you know actual numbers on there or something like that give it a little bit more of a you know 
effect and stuff like that. And maybe I'll get back to that in the tutorial. Who knows? And then back here we have the horizontal stabilizers and the uh, jet engines back there. So uh, overall, a really uh, nice looking aircraft as a whole. And as I mentioned, we do have the landed version. So if you are interested in having this thing landed at your airfield or, um, you know, just coming in for a landing or whatever, you will have the capability of doing that as well. Um, so... Uh, yeah, really awesome aircraft. Love the way it came out. Hopefully you all do enjoy it. It's been an aircraft that's been a long time uh, awaited. It's gone through several chances of being a uh, subscriber milestone tutorial, but never made it um, past the uh, voting by you guys. Uh, but I'm really happy to finally bring it to you guys as a Patreon request to build. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. I'm not exactly where we're going to start yet, but I'll be sure to let you guys know when we get into it because there's a lot of little detail bits and stuff like that um, on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and I'll let you guys know what layer we're going to start with. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we'll be going ahead and beginning with layer 2. The reason why we're beginning with this layer is just because it's a little bit easier for us to go and build layer 2 and then go ahead and come back to uh, layer 1. It just makes it a little bit easier. We have a little bit more structure going on with layer 2 and it'll make it a lot easier just to connect on and uh, build on top of uh, layer 2 when we move on to layer 3. Uh, so layer 2 is mainly going to be covering a lot of the bomb or the missiles and um, drop tanks. It's pretty much what we're going to be mainly covering in this uh, layer here. Uh, if you do want to build this thing landed, uh, we're going to be building this thing as if it was in the air to begin with. So we're going to be adding the landing gear at the end of the tutorial. So if you are interested in having this thing landed, you're going to want to make sure that this layer is one block above the ground. You can see the purple here representing the ground level and then this yellow block here representing the space air of air uh, basically in between layer two and uh basically the ground so make sure that, that is correct this f the f-15 does sit pretty low to the ground um, especially when you have the drop tanks and stuff applied it definitely looks really low uh, so that is intended to be that far down um, anyways, to go ahead and get started here, we'd be going ahead and doing my traditional style, building half on camera, half off. So whatever we do on the right side here and a copy over to the left side, pretty standard. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and take some stone brick slabs. We're going to place down one and two stone brick slabs. Now, this right here is going to be the very center line of the aircraft, the very middle right here. And this uh, section right here is located about the middle of the aircraft too, if you're looking at uh, lengthwise and trying to fit it into a space is about the midpoint of the aircraft length. Uh, after those two stone brick slabs, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine polished anti blocks back, followed by a stone brick stair, and come off the front of the stair a stone brick slab. After that is all complete, we're going to go ahead and go to the second polished anti block from the front. So, this direction here that um, these two stone brick uh, slabs are, that's going to be toward the front, and then this stone brick stair and slab this is going to be toward the rear of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and go to the front here. We're going to go ahead and go to the second cobble polished stainless steel block back. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall to the side, followed by one more back. We're then going to place down a row of one, two, and three polished stainless steel blocks, and then one and two cobblestone walls uh, to go ahead and start to create that shape. And of course, you'll copy that over to the air side once we get this uh, side uh, basically complete. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a placeholder block. We're going to go ahead and go and uh, place down a basically have a space here of uh, one, and then we're going to place down a stone brick stair. So it's going to go to this first polished anti block, you're going to leave a space of one, and then a stone brick stair with the back facing toward the front. Coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down one, two, and three polished anti blocks going toward the front, an item frame on the very uh, last polished anti block, and a black stained glass block in it, like that, and it's going to be the same thing right there on both sides. Once that's done, we're also going to go ahead and grab some signs. We're going to go ahead and go to the uh, second and third polished anti block from the front one, and we're going to place down signs on the inside here. Not on the outside, just on the inside. With that done, we're going to go ahead and move on to our first missile. So for our first missile missile here, we're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off this polished anti block up here in the front. We're then going to place down a skeleton skull coming off the side there of the slab. On the air side of the slab here, we're going to place down a sign, just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a second quartz top slab back. We're going to go and grab ourselves a um, dark oak wood fence gate. And we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate on the side there like that. Continuing on, coming off this quartz uh, slab here, uh, we're going to place down a second and third uh, quartz uh, top slab back like that. So in total, you have a row of four of quartz top slabs. On the side of these slabs here, we're going to place down signs like that along the side there. Once that's done, we're going to continue on by placing down a quartz upside down stair on the back here. Coming off the back of the quartz upside down stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. On both sides of this stair, 
We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate, which we're going to have opened up toward the stair. Same thing over here. And then we can go ahead and delete these two blocks underneath those fence gates. We then want to place down a sign coming off the side of the fence gates toward the rear here. It's going to be the same thing here on both sides. Like that, and that's going to do it there for your first missile. Um, once that's all done, we want to go ahead and uh, grab ourselves some uh, placeholder blocks again or something that we can easily tell apart from the rest of the build. So we can use some wool or glass, whatever you want to use. We're going to go ahead and go to this sign right here, and we want to go ahead and have a space of two blocks uh, out from the sign. So we're going to go ahead and go one and two spaces out like this. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab. Now coming off the stone brick top, top slab going toward the front of the aircraft, we're going to place down two iron trap doors going toward the front. And then going back from the slab, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone brick uh, top slabs back. So a total of this should be a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine stone brick top slabs in this row. And then we're just going to place down a iron trap door on this uh, stone brick top slab on the end there toward the rear. We then want to go ahead and go to our middle three stone brick top slabs. We're going to place down three iron trap doors on both sides of these top slabs. Same thing with that on both sides. We can then delete these wool blocks here, place our blocks. And um, we have our uh, basically first layer, layer two, completely set up. Uh, once you have this side copy over to the other side, you'll be good to go ahead and move on to our next layer, which is going to be layer one. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer one. For layer one, we're just gonna be going ahead and building down and just basically adding a little bit onto the bottom here. So to go ahead and get started here, we're gonna go ahead and go to the bottom of these two stone brick top slabs here and I'll place down two iron trap doors on the bottom of those slabs. We then wanna take some stone brick top slabs going back from this iron trap door. We're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, and actually, sorry, my bad, nine stone brick top slabs back, followed by an iron trap door on the end there, like that for the bottom of the tank. Once that's done, we also want to go ahead and go to these polished anti blocks. So you remember the ones with the signs on the side of them. And on the bottom of those two polished anti blocks, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. And same thing over here, just like that. And once you have that all complete, that is going to pretty much do it for uh, layer one. With that, we can move up to layer three. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three to go ahead and get started here, we want to go ahead and go to our fuel tank here that we have in the middle of the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and go to the middle five polished anesthetic blocks, and we're going to place down a row of five of cobblestone walls on top of those blocks. We should have two polished anesthetic blocks sticking out on both sides here that do not have cobblestone walls on them. Once that's done, we're going to go and take some stone brick top slabs, and we're going to go ahead and go off these five cobblestone walls. We're going to place down five stone brick top slabs out to the sides. Going toward the rear of the aircraft, which is again in that direction there, we're going to go ahead and take some iron trap doors, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, and four. Iron tra trap doors back from the stone brick top slab here. And then going toward the front, we're going to place down one, two, and three iron trap doors just like that. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go out to these five stone brick top slabs here. We're going to go ahead and place down another row of five of stone brick top slabs that come off of those just like that. Uh, going toward the rear here, we're going to place down one and two more stone brick top slabs back, and then we're going to place down another row of four of iron trap doors. So one, two, three, and four iron trap doors back, so it's going to stick out two paths from this previous row here. Going toward the front, we're going to take some stone brick top slabs again, and we're going to place down uh, one stone brick top slab, followed by a second one. So you have two uh, going off of this row of five here, so two sticking out like this. We're then going to go ahead and switch to stone brick stairs. We're going to place down one and two. Stone brick ups and down stairs that should connect to these polished anesthetic blocks like that. And then we're going to place down these stone brick top slab coming off the side of the stair, followed by a iron trap door like that. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down another iron trap door coming off the side of this one, out to the side. We then want to place down these stone brick top slab after that iron trap door. And just like we did before, we're going to go and take some stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three stone brick ups and down stairs going back like that. Once that's done, after this stone brick stair here, we're going to go ahead and switch back to stone brick top slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick top slabs back from that stone brick stair there. And then we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron trap doors back. So it should kind of be in line with this uh, first row right here, like that. Um, when that's all done, we're going to go, ahead and go to the sides again here. We're going to go ahead and basically build an air missile. So we're going to place down a stone, or sorry, a quartz top slab coming off this. Um, stone brick top slab on the side there. We're going to place down a skeleton skull that's going to come off this, the uh, top slab toward the front, followed by a sign on the side of it. We're then going to place down a second uh, quartz 
top side back. Coming off the side of the quartz top side, we're going to place down a dark oak defense gate like so. We then want to place down two more quartz top sides back. Again, signs on the sides there. We're going to place down a upside down quartz stair like this with a skeleton skull on the back. And then coming off the side here of the quartz stair toward the uh, basically outside of the aircraft, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate opened up toward the stair and on the side here toward the back of the fence gate we're going to place down a sign like that so basically what we did for the last missile down there um, when that's done there uh, we can go ahead and go to this row right here and build our fuel tank up so for this we're going to go ahead and go to our middle three polished dance or stone brick top sides we're going to place down three polished anesthetic blocks on top of those after you have these three polished anesthetic blocks placed you're going to go ahead and place down one two and three forward and then one two and three back giving you a nice row of nine in total we're then going to place down a stone brick stair toward the back here and a stone brick slab coming off the front of the stair. Going up toward the front here, we're going to place down one and two stone brick slabs on top of these two iron trap doors, just like that. On top of the iron trap doors, this side's here, we're going to go and place down one, two, and three polished anesthetic blocks on both sides here, like that. We're then going to go ahead and take some cobblestone walls and we're going to place down one and two on the sides here, one and two. Same thing over here, one and two and one and two so pretty much what we, exactly what we did there for the bottom uh t fuel tank down below there and uh actually with this one we can also go ahead and add iron trap doors on the bottom of these polished anesthetic blocks which is something i forgot to add on there when we did layer one uh but anyways once you have that all complete that is going to do it for layer number three with that you can start to see a little bit of the base going here and a little bit of the aircraft starting to come together Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer 4. Layer 4, we're going to start to get into a lot of structuring and start to see some of the fuselage come into play for the uh, jet. Uh, but with that, let's move on to layer 4. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 4. Layer 4, we're going to go ahead and get into a lot of the fuselage and you can see the basis of the fuselage start to really um, come together and all that. So, to go ahead and begin with, uh, the best part for us to start here is to go ahead and go to these five cobblestone walls right here. We're going to place down a row of five of polished anesthetic blocks on top of those cobblestone walls. Now, once we have that done, going toward the front, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen polished anesthetic blocks going toward the front, followed by a stone brick upside down stair, two stone brick top slabs, and an iron trap door on the very end there. When that's all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and go from this row, this uh, you know polished anesthetic block, which will be right here. We're going to place down one, two, and three polished anesthetic blocks back. A stone brick upside down stair. One, two, three, and four stone brick top slabs come out the front of the stair, and then three iron trap doors back like that. Uh, basically, you should get something that kind of looks like that for your center line to go ahead and give you an accurate count of how many polished anesthetic blocks there are. There should be a total of 25. And you can kind of see here perspective where they end on both ends here. So make sure that that is correct. Also, one thing I want to cover is that from the previous layer, we do have these little kind of antenna that kind of stick down from the bottom of the fuselage, which I decided to include uh, in this layer because it's a little bit easier to attach them. We want to go ahead and go to, from the front here, back from the stone brick stair. We're going to go back to the third polished anesthetic block back, place down an end rod underneath there, skip two spaces, and place down another end rod underneath this uh, what is going to be six polished anesthetic block back so you should get something that looks like that once that's all done we can go ahead and start moving out to the sides so to go ahead and get started here we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick up sound stair come off this polished anesthetic block like this going back from this stone brick up, up upside down stair we're going to go ahead and place down another stair right behind it so we're going to turn this stair into a corner stair and then we have a regular stair right here after that regular stair, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Uh, stone brick ups and down stairs going back to give you a total of 13 stone brick ups and down stairs with the corner stair up here. And it should end right here before this iron trap door. Once that's done, uh, after this stone brick ups and down stair here, we're going to go and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 polished anesthetic blocks back. We then want to go ahead and place down a cobblestone full block back, followed by two cobblestone ups and down stairs. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick stairs and place down one and two upside down nether brick stairs like that with their backs facing toward the outside there. Going ahead and moving on to our next row, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to this iron trap door here for our air intakes right here on the sides. 
We're going to place down each stone brick stair like this, followed by a black wool block, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 polished inside blocks back. We then want to place down 1, 2, and 3 cobblestone walls. Back, followed by 1 and 2 black wool blocks, and then to finish this off, we're going to place down 1 and 2 nether brick top steps just like that. When uh, that's all complete, we're going to go back up to the front here of the intake. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair. Come off this one here, so on top of this iron trap door. Uh, to the, or basically after the iron trap door, we're going to place down a black wool block. Followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 polished dandesite blocks back. We're going to go ahead and take our uh, stone brick, uh, sorry, cobblestone, sorry. We're going to place down a cobblestone full block. Fall by again, two cobblestone upside down stairs going back, and then we're just going to place down two nether brick stairs back, just like that. Once uh, that's done, we're going to go ahead and go back up here to the front. We want to go ahead and go to the second polished and say block back from this black wool block. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall out to the side, fall by one, two, and three more back. We then want to take stone brick stairs, and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone brick upside down stairs. We're then going to place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 of cobblestone walls. We're going to go and switch back to stone brick top slabs. We're going to place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 stone brick top slabs going back, followed by a row of 1, 2, and 3 iron trap doors. Um, so you should get something kind of like this for the main kind of fuselage here, as you can uh, kind of get a general idea of what it looks like, something just like this. And um, that's what you want to have there, and obviously you'll be flipping this right side over to the to the air side once you uh, get the right side complete but just kind of gives you an idea of what it will look like uh, anyways once that's all complete we're gonna move out to the sides here we want to go ahead and go to the um, second polished dance side from the end here on this fuel tank we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall on top of it fall by one two three and four going toward the front giving you a total of five here with uh, that done we can go ahead and grab ourselves a quartz stair a skeleton skull and all that fun stuff, we're going to put two more missiles in place here. So, uh, as we've been doing, same missile design and everything, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a quartz upside down stair next to the middle cobblestone wall. And we can go and do the same thing here on both sides as the missiles are both located in the same position and at the on either side of these cobblestone walls. We then can go ahead and just take our quartz slabs. We can place down one, two, three, and four. Quartz top slabs going toward the front, same thing over here, one, two, three, and four. Coming off the slabs toward the front, we're going to place down skeleton skulls and then coming toward the back here on the backs of these course ups and downstairs, we're going to place down skeleton skulls like that. Out to the sides here, uh, we're going to place down a darker good fence gate opened up toward the stair. Same thing over here. And we then want to go in like we've been doing, place down a sign on the side of the iron trap door, or sorry, the side of the darker good fence gate like that. Uh, we're then going to take signs. We're going to place it down on these two quartz uh, top slabs. Same thing over here. We then want to go ahead and continue on by placing down a dark oak fence gate that's coming off this quartz top slab. Same thing over here. Oops, my bad. Just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, sign on the side of this quartz top slab on the very end here. The missile again on both sides like that. And you're going to have your missile set there. And once we have that all complete, that is going to do it for layer 4 of the build. With that, we can move on to our next layer, layer 5. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 5. For layer 5, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a polished dance site block on this stone brick top slab on the very front nose of the aircraft. Coming off the slab toward the front, on top of this iron trap door, we're going to place down a nether brick slab like so. After this polished dance site block, we're going to go ahead and place down a long row of polished dance site going block. So including this block right here, we have 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32 polished nanosite blocks back. Just to double check our count here, we can go and do a quick select here and see that we have 32 polished nanosite blocks. I think I might have said 31, so make sure it's 32. Uh, so 32 polished as I blocked back from this narrow brick slab. When that's done, on the end here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by three stone brick slabs that go back from that front of the stair, and they should end on top of this iron trap door right here on the back. When that's all done, we're going to go back up to the front and uh, 
work our way back again. We're going to go to the first polished ASA block here, place down a skeleton skull on both sides of the block. We're then going to take cobblestone walls, place down one, two, and three cobblestone walls back. We're going to go and take polished ansite again, place down one, two, three, four, five, and six polished ansite blocks back. A black wool block, followed by a stone button on the side of the black wool block. After the black wool block, we're going to go and take polished ansite again, place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one polished ansite blocks back. Followed by a cobblestone full block, followed by one, two, and three black wool blocks going back, and a cobblestone wall on the very end here. Again, going back up to the uh, kind of mid section of the front, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the polished ansite block right after this black wool block. We want to go ahead and start off by placing down a row, a stone brick top slab here, where they're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like this. After that stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down an additional two stone brick upside down stairs, so one and two upside down stairs going back. We're going to place down a black wool block, followed by a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen polished andesite blocks back. We're going to place down a glowstone block, followed by one and two orange stained glass blocks back from that, uh, glowstone block and if you do have this thing landed with the engines off you're probably going to want to make sure that these uh engines are turned off with filled with coal or something like that just to show that the engine is off and not actually on um and the same thing for both engines there um anyways going back up to the intakes in the front here coming off this stone brick top slab we're gonna place down one more slab out to the side we then want to take stone brick stairs we're gonna place down one two and three upside down stone brick stairs coming off this uh top slab we're gonna place down a black wool block Followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 polished andesite blocks back. Where they're going to place down a cobblestone uh, full block here. That's going to be on both sides on the glowstone block here, the side of it. Where they're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 black wool blocks back and then a cobblestone wall. Just like that to go ahead and round up your engine there. Um, and you can kind of see what it looks like from up above, something like that. When that's all done there, we're going to continue on by taking some stone brick stairs. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair that's going to be coming off this polished and safe block at an angle like this. We're going to go ahead and go back from this stone brick upside down stair for another stone brick upside down stair. So this one turns into a corner stair, regular stair, and then another stone brick corner stair, just like that on the end there. And actually, my bad, it's just going to be a regular stair. So we have a corner stair and then two regular upside down stairs. After that, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 polished andesite blocks back. We're going to go ahead and take our uh, stone brick here. We're going to place down 1, 2, and 3 uh, stone brick, or sorry, 4 stone brick top slabs going back just like that. Um, we then want to go ahead and... Um, go up to the well we can actually go ahead and just build our horizontal stabilizers while we're at it so for this we're going to go ahead and go to the second to last iron trap door here we're going to place down an iron trap door or sorry polished anti block we're going to place down an iron trap door come off the side of it we then want to go ahead and go back from the iron trap door one two three four and five stone brick slabs back like that we're then going to go ahead and go to the forward stone brick slab place the iron trap door out to the side we're going to go ahead and go back from the iron trap door one and two Stone brick slabs back, followed by a row of one and two iron trap doors back. Continuing on, we're going to go, and go to the um, stone brick slab right here. We're going to place down one out to the side, one and two back, and then a, another iron trap door and a second one that goes back from it. So you have something that looks like this so far. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, come off the second one right here, one more back, and again two iron trap doors back, like this. We're then going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors again. We're going to place down our iron trap door, come off this one, and one also come off this stone brick slab there. So you get something that kind of looks like this here on both sides for your horizontal stabilizers on the rear. Uh, anyways, moving on to the wings now. Um, so for the wings, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to start off with stone brick top slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to this stone brick upside down stair here. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab to the side of it. Followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight stone brick top slabs back, giving you a row nine. We then want to take stone slabs, place down one and two stone slabs going back. For our next row, we're going to go, ahead and go to the second stone brick top slab back, place down one out to the side. 
followed by one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, giving you a row of eight of stone brick top slabs, and then again two stone uh, top slabs there on the end there. Uh, when we get to this section here, we do have the um, basically the uh, fuel tank connection here, but it's pretty simple. We're gonna go ahead and go to the second stone brick top slab back, place down a stone brick top slab out to the side. We then want to take stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four, and actually five stone brick upside down stairs. So it's going to be on top of these cobblestone walls, followed by a stone brick top slab back after those, and then two stone sl uh, sl top slabs like that continuing back. Again, going up to the front here, coming off this first stone brick upside down stair, stone brick top slab out to the side, followed by one, two, three, four, and five back, giving you a row of six, and again, two stone top slabs going back. <clears throat> For our next row over, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab that again comes off the second one back, followed by one, two, three, uh, four, and five back, giving you a row of six again, followed by two stone top slabs going back. Uh, for our next row, again, we're going to go to the second stone brick top slab back, place down one out to the side, followed by one, two, three, and four stone brick top slabs back, two stone top slabs like that, so you have a row of five of stone brick top slabs, and then two stone top slabs on the end there. Uh, again. Go into the second stone brick top slab. I'm going to place down one out to the side, followed by one, two, and three back, giving you a row of four, and then two stone top slabs going back like that. Uh, for our next row again, we're going to go to the second stone brick top slab back, place down one out to the side, followed by one, two, three, and four stone brick top slabs back. Uh, continuing on, uh, we're going to go and place down a stone brick top slab on the second one, um, where they're going to place down one, two, and three back, giving you a row of four, and then we just want to place down two stone brick top slabs coming off the middle two. Um, stone brick top steps just like that for the tips of the wings once you have that done and you have the wing copied over to both sides and basically just the whole uh, layer completely copied over to both sides you should get something that looks just like this from up above and um, uh, overall you start to see a little bit of shape starting to come out of the aircraft anyways that's going to do it for layer five let's move on to layer six all right guys moving on to our uh, next layer we have one quick addition we want to make that uh, i forgot to include with the previous layer and that was taking some banners. We're going to place down a banner on the back of this stone brick stair, uh, upside down stair here, and also on this black wool block right here, just to keep a nice, consistent um, gray color on the side here. As you can see, it was already copied over here to this side, but just make sure that it's on both sides, these um, uh, basically gray banners on the side there to keep, kind of disguise that black wool right there. Anyways, uh, moving on to the actual uh, layer six. For this, we're going to start off by placing down a iron trap door on the top of the second polished dancing block back. We're then going to place down two stone brick slabs back, followed by three polished anesthetic blocks. Now right here I went ahead and just put a row of six of light gray stained glass to kind of show you the cockpit space you have to work with. So if you do want to include a cockpit, you can go ahead and easily uh, leave the space empty, put in a pilot seat, a control console, and whatever you really want to to kind of add a little bit more uh, to this section here. Obviously I'll leave that up to you guys, but you can see I left the space of six here. You can fill it in with polished anesthetic if you want, uh, but we're going to have a row of six here of um, some sort of block. Um, anyways, after that, we're going to go and place down a polished anesthetic block, and this is going to be a row of polished anesthetic. This row in total is going to be 11 blocks, and from this stone brick stair here, which we'll place in a second here, uh, this whole row here of full blocks should be about 20, um, and then the space right here, obviously, taking uh, some space away from it. Uh, moving back to this section here, after we have this row here of polished anesthetic, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, followed by one, two, and three stone brick slabs, and then three iron trap doors should end on top of the second polished anesthetic block from last, like that, down the middle. Going back up to the front, uh, we're going to go and start working our way out to the sides here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull at a uh, 30 degree angle, or 60, however you want to refer to it, uh, but just a slight angle here on the sides. We're going, to go back, we're going to go ahead and go back from this head and place down a stone brick slab, followed by a row of one and two, and three stone brick stairs back, followed by a stone brick corner stair. After the corner stair, we're going to take polished anesthetic blocks, place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven polished anesthetic blocks back, followed by a stone brick stair like this. We're going to place down an additional stair after, turn this stair into a corner stair, regular stair, and then a second stone brick stair back. We then want to take stone brick slabs, place down one, two, and three stone brick slabs back, followed by one, two, three, four, and five cobblestone walls back, a stone brick stair, a uh, cobblestone stair, a nether brick stair, and then a nether brick corner stair coming off that stair. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and go ahead. We're then going to go up to the air intakes now and start working our way back. We're going to place down a light gray carpet on this 
uh, stone brick top slab, followed by a row of one and two iron trap doors, a stone brick slab, where they're gonna go ahead and also grab ourselves a stone slab, place down a stone slab like that, followed by one and two stone brick stairs, where they're gonna place down a cobblestone slab, like this after the stone brick stairs, where they're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick slabs going back, followed by a stone brick stair, and go back from the stone brick stair to place down one, two, three, four, five, and six polished anzite blocks back, followed by a cobblestone full block, and after the cobblestone full block, we're gonna place down one and two black wool blocks back, and then one and two better brick slabs going back like that for the jets here. Again, going back up to our uh, side intakes, we're gonna place down a light gray carpet on top of the stone brick top slab. One and two, iron trap doors back, a stone brick slab, a stone slab, uh, one and two stone brick slabs, a cobblestone slab like this, fall by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick slabs back, a iron trap door. We're then gonna place down one, two, three, four, and five cobblestone walls, a stone brick stair, and a cobblestone stair after that stone brick stair a nether brick stair, and then a nether brick corner stair, like so. After that's done there, we're gonna go ahead and start uh, kind of coming out here to the wings. We're gonna start off by placing down a iron trap door on top of this stone brick uh, upside down corner stair. After that, we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull at a slight angle, so kind of how we did the angle up there in the front. That's gonna be very slight. Going back from the wither skeleton skull, we're gonna place down these two stone brick slabs, followed by a nether brick slab, a stone brick slab, and then we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and uh, actually eight uh, iron trap doors going back. We then wanna place down a stone brick stair after those iron trap doors, followed by a row of one, two, and three polished anti blocks, and then one and two stone uh, full, or basically stone slab full blocks like that. And on the first uh, stone slab full block right here, we're gonna place down a stone button. Going back from this uh, stone slab full block here, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, and then one and two iron trap doors going back just like that. With that all done, uh, we can go ahead and go to our next row over. We're going to place down a light gray carpet on top of this uh, stone brick top slab here. We're then going to place down one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, and eight iron trap doors back. We're going to go ahead and again go up to the front here, place down a gray carpet on the first slab, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six iron trap doors back in a light gray carpet again. Uh, for our next row out, narrow gray carpet like this, followed by a row of one, two, three, four um, of these uh, iron trap doors, and then one and two light gray carpets. Uh, we're then gonna go ahead and go ahead and place down a gray, light gray carpet up here, followed by one, two, and three iron trap doors back, and then two light gray carpets back after that. Uh, again, continuing on, we're going to place down a light gray carpet up here, followed by one and two iron trap doors and one, two, and three light gray carpets back. And then for the rest of the wing here, on top of all the stone brick top slabs, we're just going to go and place down some, uh, basically, light gray carpets. Just like this on the remaining top slabs. And also, uh, we do want to make one quick adjustment here. So on these two um, iron trap doors here, we're going to place down one more that goes back. And then come off these two iron trap doors off the side, we're going to place down two more that come out like that. And you should get something that kind of looks like that, some, some, something that looks like that for the wings um, when you look at it from up above like that. And obviously you'll take that over here on the right side and flip it over to the left side and you'll have your wings complete and layer 6 all done. With that, that's going to do it for layer 6. Let's move on to layer 7. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 7. For layer 7 to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door on the second polished anti block right here. Followed by another brick slab after this iron trap door. Where they're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 light gray stained glass full blocks, followed by two polished anzite blocks, a stone brick slab, a stone brick stair with its back facing toward the front of the aircraft, followed by a stone brick stair on the face of the stair, where they're going to place down two iron trap doors that go back like that. Working our way out to the sides now, on the side of these first two light gray stained glass blocks from the front, we're going to place down two light gray stained glass panes, followed by one and two light gray stained glass full blocks back. A light gray stained glass pane, and then one, two, and three stone brick slabs back like this. We then also want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull like this, so at a slight angle here on both sides here, followed by one and two iron trap doors back just like that. 
Uh, when that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and go to our engines here. We have a little bit to add, to add on to them. We're going to go ahead and go to the se the third and fourth iron uh, polishing anti block back. We're going to place down two iron trap doors, followed by two stone brick slabs back, and then two iron trap doors back like that. We're going to go ahead and also grab ourselves some polished anti blocks. We're going to place down one, two, and three polished anti blocks back, followed by one and two. Uh, basically stone slab full blocks and we're going to place down some stone buttons here on the first block here on both sides once that's all complete there that is going to do it for layer um, seven and with that we can move on to layer eight all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer eight for layer eight what we want to do to go ahead and get started here is we're going to place down a nether brick slab on top of the second light gray stained glass full block back after that a uh, nether brick slab we're going to place down two like gray stained glass full blocks back like this, followed by two like gray stained glass panes on both sides of those like gray stained glass full blocks. On both sides here of this uh, narrow brick slab, on top of the like gray stained glass panes from the previous layer, we're going to place down some wither skeleton skulls at about a 45 degree angle on both sides here. And then working our way back, we're going to place down a narrow brick slab coming off this like gray stained glass block. Uh, we're then going to place down actually a second narrow brick slab after it. On both sides of the first slab here, on top of those like gray stained glass panes, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on both sides, followed by a uh, wither skeleton skull at a slight angle on top of the stone brick slab, going back as well for shaping there for the cockpit. After these uh, two uh, nether brick slabs here, we're going to place down two uh, iron trapdoors, or sorry, my bad, just one iron trapdoor that goes back like that, and that'll do it there for your front cockpit. Moving back here to the uh, vertical stabilizers, we're going to go ahead and take a stone brick stair. We're going to place it down on top of this polished andesite block here on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down one and two polished andesite blocks back from these from the stone brick stairs again on both sides here. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two of stone slab full blocks like this going back. Stone buttons here on both sides just like this and once you have that all done, uh, that will pretty much uh, do it for the layer 8 and with that we're going to move on to our last final layers which are basically going to consist of layers 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 where we're going to go ahead and basically uh, put the horizontal stabilizer or the vertical stabilizer in and pretty much complete the in-flight version. It'll be, then be up to uh, us to go ahead and move down to the landing gear and if you want to build it landed you can also um, have that ability to uh, do it as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to uh, our last final layers, layers 9 through 13. Alright guys, so moving on to our last final layers, we actually are working on layers uh, 9 through 14. I forgot that there are some iron uh, trapdoors on the top here, which would consider that a nether layer. Um, so anyways, moving on to these layers here to go ahead and get started here. We're going to place down 1 and 2 polished andesite blocks on top of these two right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and actually place down a third one that goes back on top of the stone slab full block, followed by a stone slab full block after that polished andesite block, stone buns on both sides of it. After that's done, going ahead and go into the first polished andesite block up here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top, two polished andesite blocks back, and a stone slab full block, again stone buns on both sides here. Again, working our way up, we're going to place down two polished andesite blocks on top of these two, a stone slab full block, both sides, stone buns like that. Again, going up, we're going to go ahead and put our little stripe in here. So whatever color you want to use, you can go ahead and do that. I'm going to be using uh, red by using a brick stair like this on the front and two red wool blocks after it. And then on the second uh, red wool block back, we're going to place down a stone button on both sides here. Uh, up on top, we're going to place down two polished anti blocks on top of our two colored wool blocks here. A skeleton skull going toward the rear. And then going toward the front, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab with a end rod coming off of it. On top of the two polished ASA blocks, we're going to place down two uh, iron trap doors like that. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden signs, and we're going to place down a row of three of signs on the polished ASA blocks and also the stone brick top slab. Same thing over here on this side, just like that. Now what we're going to do is take that same design and copy it over here to this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this a little bit quicker since we've already kind of covered in detail how to uh, do this. So I'm just going to kind of do it quickly here. And you can refer back to the other one if you need to, or uh, pause the video, whatever you need to do to uh, make sure you keep up or build along uh, with me. Some of you might be fast enough to uh, keep up. And we're just going to keep going all the way up here. Stone buns both sides. Polished anesthetic blocks. Stone brick top slab. Uh, little uh, end rod there. Skeleton skull. Signs on the sides. And same thing over here. 
and that'll pretty much do it for that and we can also go ahead and place down some iron trap doors on top of those polished anti blocks and once you have that done you pretty much have the in-flight version completely done we have the armaments equipped and the uh, aircraft pretty much completely built uh, with that we're going to move on to the landed version so if you are interested in having the landed version of the aircraft you can also have that included uh, but with that let's go ahead and move on to our uh, last final part of the tutorial which is going to be putting in, putting the landing gear on one thing I wanted to cover real quick before we move on to the landing gear is the possibility of adding squadron and actual uh, unit numbers. Uh, so for this, very simple, you can add some banners in the places you see right here. Uh, obviously for the top portion here, these two banners you're going to want to use letters. You can use whatever letters you want, make whatever squadrons you want. And then numbers right here, uh, you can easily just go and put uh, whatever uh, number you want the aircraft to be. Obviously you want all your aircraft to have a different unit number, uh, designation and all that fun stuff. Uh, but uh, it'll add a lot of little atmosphere to any kind of airfield you have um, having different numbers and I'll link tutorials down in the description where they uh, show you how to make all these banners here um, the letters and all that stuff which is really useful and I use the tutorials personally to make letter banners uh, highly recommend it so that's a little option there you can see where they're placed I'm just looking at it you can see uh, you don't have to do exactly what I did you can obviously change it up do whatever you want uh, this was just to kind of show you guys an example of what you could do for the tail markers on the basically unit numbers and all that fun stuff. Anyways, that's going to uh, do it for that. Let's move on to the landed version. All right, guys, so moving on to putting the landed gear on the uh, aircraft, uh, we can go ahead and get started. Now, one quick thing to kind of, uh, you know, basically take note here is the uh, basically size of the aircraft off the ground. If you built it completely right and um, measured it correctly uh, off the ground, you can notice that you have basically a slab of uh, space between the bottom fuel tank and uh, the ground here. So it's very tight indeed, uh, but uh, it does sit very low like this, especially with this drop tank right here. Um, anyways, to throw in the landing gear, uh, we just want to go ahead and double check our spacing here. So between the fuselage here, the front nose, we should have a total of three blocks of space. Um, if you do not, then you need to see what went wrong. You may be too high or you may be too low. Uh, if you're too low, you're going you're gonna to have your aircraft to the ground, but uh, just make sure that that is correct. Anyways, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break some blocks. We're going to go ahead and go to this polished anesthetic block. So right in line here with this black hole block, we're going to break this polished anesthetic block, the second one behind it, and also the third one after that. Now, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall coming down from this polished anesthetic block here followed by a second cobblestone wall on the bottom of it. We want to place down a quartz upside down stair with the back of the stair facing toward the right side of the uh, aircraft. Uh, on the bottom of the quartz upside down stair, we're going to place down a block of coal. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers and we're going to place down a lever that is going to be on the side of this block of coal and also on the back of the stair face downward like that to connect up like that for a bit of detail. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button and place it down on the side of this block of coal for the front wheel like that. And once that's done, go ahead and move our way toward the front. We're going to place down a quartz stair coming off this cobble stone wall. And coming off the front of the stair here, we're going to place down a quartz top slab. Also on the top of the quartz stair here, we're going to place down an end rod to connect us up with the uh, inside there. Uh, coming off the back here, we're going to place down a stone break up down stair after this cobblestone wall. And after this, we're going to place down a second stone brick stair going down, so like this. And then a end rod coming off the front of the stair, connecting up to this quartz stair like that. Um, we then want to place down an item frame on the side here of the stair with a glass block in it like that. We're also going to go ahead and place down a sign on the side of the stair as well to go ahead and finish it off so you get something that looks like that. And once that's done, that's going to do it there for the front wheel. We'll move on to the rear wheels now. All right, guys, so moving on to putting the rear wheels on, we're, gonna go only, we're only going to go ahead and place down the wheels on the right side. Uh, then you can copy it over to the left side. No point in doing both. Uh, but to go ahead and get started here, we want to go ahead and go to this section down here, the aircraft. Uh, you see you have this row of four of iron trap doors and then this section here of the stone brick top slabs. We're going to go ahead and break these three stone brick top slabs right here. And we also want to break the polished anesthetic blocks in this section here. Now we can go ahead and also replace these polished anesthetic blocks around here with quartz full blocks just to kind of fill the space in and to kind of make it look a little bit cleaner here for the kind of like the section here where the wheel uh, folds up to. Uh, once that's all done here, we're going to grab polished anesthetic blocks and replace these three stone brick top slabs here with polished anesthetic blocks. We can go ahead and also grab ourselves some stone brick uh, stairs 
we're gonna place down a or two stone brick stairs coming down upside down coming down from these polished downside blocks and then we're gonna place down a stone brick top side coming off this forward most forward polished downside block like that for the hatch that would open up to expose the landing gear uh continuing on here we're gonna place down a quartz top slab that's going to be right here in this space right here on the bottom of it we're gonna place down a lever and face flick the lever facing toward the rear after that we're gonna place down a quartz top slab that comes down like this followed by a quartz stair like so we then want to place down a cobblestone wall on top of this quartz stair and then coming down from the bottom of the quartz stair we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like this on the bottom of the cobblestone wall here we're going to place down a stone brick top slab out to the side we're going to go ahead and place down another brick stair upside down like this a narrow brick stair on top of it and then two an upside down stair behind this one on the bottom and also a stair on top of this one right here and uh, you have the landing gear pretty much complete there and you'll take that design, flip it over to the air side and you'll have both your rear, rear wheels uh, complete and put on the aircraft. And once you guys have the landing gear copied over to the air side, you have completed the landed version for the F-15C and also the in-flight version. Hope you guys do enjoy this design for it. It took a lot of work to make, so therefore I'm going to ask that if you guys do end up using this build, that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thank you for my son the build, tuning to my channel or this video. If this does appear so to me inside, just be sure, just be sure I get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow, and it uh, continues to keep me inspired uh, to keep on making these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, your free use of forever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Bigger 204, and I'll see you guys next time.